Good evening, everyone. I am a limited data here. I have not back onto the internet as such. I'm still waiting for the service to but service provider to install the fiber connection. So please do pray that it will come much quicker. Uh, speaking on the matter of prayer, people, we need to pray for the nations, especially Australia, um, Netherlands. I haven't heard from my friends in Netherlands for quite a while. And also uh, for the last five days, I didn't hear from my friends in uh, New South Wales. And uh, yeah, so I did email them and I did give them a call, but thus far I didn't hear anything from them. So please do pray for them. This is a matter about staff. I'm going to briefly discuss um, a, a video. I did post this in the uh, community post. So if you haven't uh, seen this uh, video, please do watch it. It's very important that you watch it. It's a warning to the body of Christ. And uh, this is the lady, her name is Steph. She is from Queensland, uh, Australia. And she only had one video uh, that uh, came directly from, from Jesus himself. Yes, and um, I'm going to discuss a few things uh, that I picked up that believers in Christ do not believe uh, uh, as such. And I'm going to discuss that in a minute. But as I said, we need to pray for the nations. God is busy with uh, not all of the nations at one uh, specific time. Uh, that he will deal with, pour out his wrath, and that will be uh, on all the nations at one time. But right now, it's from nation to nation. Uh, the moment it is Australia, uh, Austria, and I had a, uh, uh, what, two, two, three weeks, three weeks ago, I woke up with the words, uh, uh, this inner vision, just when I woke up, I heard these words, Western Rake, well, bless you. But now that was puzzled. I I am Afrikaans speaking, but the name Western Rake sounds familiar. And I look up the word uh, Western Rake and it says it is Austria. And I read a little bit, but Austria, I don't know much about Austria, Austria itself. It sounds like Australia. Yeah. And uh, it says, yeah, Western Rake will bless me. Oh, well, I do need that blessing, but currently all the unvexed people are currently uh, 64 people are vexed and uh, have a 36%, 36% are unvexed. So uh, we need to pray for the believers in Christ there uh, in uh, Austria, uh, Netherlands, also in Greece, Australia, France. Um, most of these people, uh, this nations, uh, they ask for a green passport and they are restricted from going to shops and etc. We can go and have our term, it is uh, here in South Africa, it is uh, mentioned that we will go on, uh, yeah, no one, the doctors itself, this is a statement, they will not operate on any unvaxxed person from the beginning of April 2022, April 2024. So that may be the time frame for South Africa. But we will see God's glory in this. So you do not need to fray, but I don't want to say much on this. Uh, let uh, Steph tell you the story. It's a direct word from Jesus. Uh, uh, to the body of Christ. Yeah, specifically what I want to touch on is concerning the four horsemen. Uh, we are current, she said, this is a word from Jesus. We are currently in the seven smiter cycle. And I just did this video, a few videos, just prior to that. And the body of Christ, the watchmen, do not pay attention concerning this matter. 
And Jesus said this words to her. It is not time to say, take me, Jesus, but use me. Say it again. It is not time to say, take me. That is for the rapture. Every uh, weekday is, uh, I watch, uh, I watch uh, a day. But Jesus said, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. He gave us a clear, clear word. And uh, I picked it up from the beginning already. I expected Jesus to come now some fierce of trumpets 2000, uh, uh, this year on October, but it didn't happen. And I went back to the drawing board and I found that we are currently in the seventh meter year. And normally it is in the seventh meter year that God judges the nations, first of all America and then the nations. And that is always a financial, financial uh, uh, collapse. But having said that, the lead is trying to do it before the time. But I believe God will not allow it, people. But let's, uh, I just, I just page through uh, uh, Steph's um, transcript. And this is from the eighth minute. The enemy is going to try to make the earth really dark. And now the Lord led me to Revelation 6 and the four horsemen, but let uh, me be very clear, because the Lord has been adamant, adamant about this, that it is not the end. In other words, it's not part of his wrath. Uh, the four horsemen is pre-wrath, pre-wrath. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to discuss that the... Uh, Antichrist, the Antichrist and the false prophet. No, it's actually the false prophet comes first and then the Antichrist, he rules that they come before the rapture, not after the rapture. And uh, many people of you will unsubscribe, but please have an open mind. Read carefully, read the word, go pray about it. Please go pray about it. I ask you nicely, pray about this. Do not shut the video down. It's not a, a conspiracy theory. As time we can already see it right before our eyes. The mark is here, people. The mark is here. Yeah, and she said that uh, it's not the end. It's not the, uh, uh, this, that this is not the end. In the coming months, the believers in Christ is going to be uh, going through severe persecution and uh, uh, um, great tribulation. Uh, but at the end, and that will be from, uh, as far as I've uh, received it, it will be from nation to nation. Um, and we need to pray for one another. See God's face. And as he said, you only need a, fridge full, uh, 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 a freezer full of uh, food and that. Uh, um, that was, of course, to, uh, the Lord said to Steph, keep your house open, keep your house open, and God is going to provide the miracles. God is going to multiply that food, and God is going to get the glory for everything on this matter. So, and that is where the revival fires will start. But revival, the true revival, outpouring of God's Spirit, do come after the rapture in a time of the pillars of smoke, when the sun turned into darkness, according to Joe. And that is when the great outpouring will come. So this 2022 will just be the start of that. Let's carry on. So the four horsemen is, and I'm going to include that videos of mine to uh, you, that even the, the last video that I uh, uh, did, uh, that is about the, the great multitude is pre-wrath. Those people coming out just before pre-wrath, great tribulation. And we are going through great tribulation right now. And this is the very words. Uh, the uh, the seven-year period, I would call it Jacob's trouble, is God's wrath, people. It is not about tribulation or, or great tribulation. That, all those... Uh, uh, the four trumpets and the four uh, uh, bowls, not the four bowls, the seven bowls, seven trumpets and the seven uh, bowls, 
That is God's wrath being poured out. And each one makes its own story up. But we need to le learn the terminology of Jesus, the terminology of the Bible. And that, as Paul said, we are not unto wrath. That period is God's wrath. And uh, the four horsemen is pre-wrath. So uh, that's uh, the first open, the second horseman, and currently for 2022, we're going to see the financial one, the black horse running. We're going to see it from nation to nation, not in all the nations, but from nation to nation, we will see that running. Uh, and then uh, uh, she says further um, the, that God, Jesus is adamant about that, uh, that it is not the end. The four horsemen is not part of his wrath. Now you must understand the, f the six, seven uh, uh, trumpet judgment is been uh, blown in the air, has been poured out in the air. That is what's happening there. And the seven bows are being poured from the air. The four horsemen is running on the earth. And they are operated by Satan's four principalities uh, with the demon, demon forces here on the earth. Uh, and then the other thing that I want to address, as I said, um, this, the third, second part, uh, we are currently in the seventh uh, sweeter cycle. That's what she said. Uh, of course, um, the Lord let the nose from Feast of Trumpets, but Feast of Trumpets was not in September. It happened to be in October uh, uh, this year. It was on 7th of October, October the 7th. Uh, we entered God's seventh year, God's cycle, the Jubilee cycles. As she said, as a Jew, Jewish culture, it's, it's not Jewish cultures, that's God laid it upon uh, uh, for, for all of us. And that is why America is being judged every seventh year. And I dealt with that Smita cycles in uh, those year and two videos. And I'm going to go to the, show you those two videos in a moment. Let me just go there personally now. This is the one, uh, the 119 Jubilee cycle from creation day was 1979 to 1980. And then uh, this is the other one. And of course, the rapture, this is when it will take place. Uh, not in September as they currently say it, but it was in October. And uh, yeah, the final smita begins then, for Feast of Trumpets, October 2029. This is known as Jacob's Trouble. Uh, that is God's wrath being poured out. So uh, to study, it's just a few people that watch that, as well as that one. Uh, it's only 696. So uh, please do share this video, do study it with the word. And that is very important. But let's go back to that uh, uh, draft here. So in September this year, we actually entered December, which is actually October, uh, uh, entered the seventh year of God's uh, uh, cycles, you know, the, uh, the sweeter cycles. The sweeter year is now, and this is connected. This is connected to the end. Uh, to the uh, to uh, God's wrath, okay. So then uh, the word of the Lord says also to her that this is not a time. This is from a, a twenty-nine minutes uh, video, is thirty-six minutes long. Uh, uh, this is not a time, says Jesus, to say Jesus take me. This is a time to say Jesus use me. The Lord said to me, build your boat for many will need saving in this hour. So let us rise and shine, church, for our time is now. So this is, uh, uh, I hope the watchman takes note of this word and study this, verse, study this video. So the time is, may not be in your nation right now, but it is coming. It is coming from nation to nation. So be prepared, be prepared, pray for Australia, pray for Austria, pray for uh, Greece, pray for uh, France, for Europe, and uh, pray for your country. And uh, this is what I wanted to say uh, to you. And uh, the, the other thing is that 
YouTube and Facebook do not notify people. Uh, many people complain they do not receive the notifications. And if you would like to receive uh, notifications on any video or post, then please forward me your email. You can email, but I notice what YouTube does. They delete the email, uh, email addresses. So you can go to the community post and put your, down your email there and I will uh, notify you by email if, the, uh, if there's any new posts. So be blessed. I love you. I pray for you every day and pray for me as well. God bless you. Amen.